pad. Yes. Yes. I always spoke with the first seller. And if I actually managed to get two links with the first sellout, I just rush back home. Because then I know there's gonna be more sellouts on the, on its way. Dennis, just to continue, well, what did he kill right there? What's the first blood? Oh, what's that uh, drone? The drone died, let's see. Yes, a worker got killed. Yeah, it was the same one that was harassing the SV. It's not well worth losing the uh, Reaper for them. No, he knows that the Queens are gonna be popping out every moment now, so he is better off backing out. Backing up, backing up. And we got a standard, um, well actually not standard, this is a barracks and a factory we will follow up. Usually it's um, three racks on um, on a Nexus expand, no, I mean a command center like this. Is it though? I, I feel that's more against Protoss or before against Protoss. Before yeah, but why, why would you go like a factory build uh, against like Zerg and not Protoss? I thought uh, that if, if you go like uh, less gas, um, you could go like uh, the reactor as he's been doing right factory now. Factory builds against Protoss is actually the thing to do right now because you will get Widow Mines out faster, which are useful. You will get. Uh, Medivax out faster, will, will, which will give you a better chance to actually combat the annoyingly OP photon overcharge. Yeah, but uh, you s if, if the pro Protoss player is kind of following, uh, he can overcharge like his either his main or his uh, expansion and just move over to database uh, because the photon overcharge is so OP. Yeah. Wait, wait, what? You mean that? Seriously? Yeah, actually, I mean that. I mean that. Um, oh. If uh, if I get to the 7, 7.30 mark, and I, s I kind of spot some units on my front, uh, I usually go overcharge um, on one of the bases and move back to the other one. Yes. Because that's like like the medevac timing. Uh, then you usually get dropped. Are you... I suppose it's not that super OP, but it's a little bit too decent. I mean, a lot of protos don't bother even to scan because they can hold off most all ins by just having the photon overcharge ready. That's kind of silly to me. Because uh, there, there's no tra strategy involved in that, it's just. I don't know, picking the right races. Unless Blizzard intends for Protoss not be able to be broken before X amount of minutes. <laughs> oh, Fox God. I still hear you, Johnny. Johnny! Because he fell out. Can you hear me now? No, I can hear you. Yeah, I probably was hitting the the on and off button for the microphone. Uh, <laughs> but I was trying to say, um, Protoss player can't scan. They can't, but they can have an observer, which is equally yeah. good. Yeah, kinda. And they're actually cheaper in the long run, since the scan is a long-term use. No, long no, it's one time use and you kind of want to make meals instead. Yeah, but uh, I would say it's kind of dependent on your playstyle, because if you are like me, a uh, player that uses F2 a lot, uh, you don't want more than one observer. Because <laughs> you're yes. just gonna pile them up. And uh, I was watching Sho uh, playing Protoss today, he's been switching races, and he is also using F2 a lot. Yes. Um, but he was actually making a lot of um, Observers, but he had to manually tell them to go back and look. Yeah. Well, we have a nice little drop here from Arnis. Uh, there's not actually much here to defend aside for that queen and a couple of circlings. They're yeah. coming in far too infrequently. It's actually already done a ton of damage. Yeah, it's done a lot of damage. Yeah. Getting the queen, seeing the spire coming up. Um, it should be there pulling down. There are actually down. not enough links here to hold this. 
Are uh, you sure? Yeah, actually there isn't. And he's now there is. <laughs> now there is, yeah. But he, uh, I think he made a lot more links than he wanted to make. Yeah, that was also a very cost effective attack. Yeah, now the turrets are coming up because he knows there's gonna be mutas flying in at some point. He doesn't know when, but he knows the spire is done, so he should expect them every moment now. Oh, Arnest is moving out. He's looking to do the kill. Tons of Little Mines, some Marauders, and some Ton of Marines, a couple of Medivacs. Just a perfect army to deal with anything the Zerg has to offer. Pretty nice script spread by Delirium so far, actually. I see yeah, Karma do a lot better, but he's uh, massive. No, he's actually gold. Yeah, he's, uh, he's in the same league as these guys. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh, he's gonna be so mad. Life's a bitch, isn't it, uh, Karma? <laughs> Life's a bitch, but he can't defeat Teja. Woo! Well, neither can I. Oh, nice put there by Arnest. So, trying to keep the Marines in the back is... Uh, yeah, but does he have like, enough Marines? He would have had if those four Marines weren't inside the Medivax. Yeah, that, I think you haven't noticed that. And he's gonna lose that Medivac. Yes. Uh, if he's not paying attention. Oh, there he's unloading. <laughs> and now the table are turning. <laughs> if they have those from the start, that would be much easier. No, he's... He's uh, pressuring Deliriums quite heavily, so Deliriums is forced to make a lot of links and spend larva on units. Yeah. Which means Arnis can just keep climbing and uh, harvesters and the likes. Uh, and he's still having cleaned this one off. Um, he still has the unit inside of his base, and Arnis is one base. Is there an it there equal basis? And this is yes, but this start. is a very uh, effectful attack here by Arnis. He's forced a ton of larva, and he's been able to put up his third safely. Yeah, and he's gonna protect it with missile turrets. Two two on the way as well. Now the Zerg has two two done way before. That's actually quite early for a gold player. Yeah, but as long as you're not attacking, it's not gonna help you at all. Fox to say something about what do you mean adjusting? This my secret protos build. You, <laughs> I told you yes. Yeah, I said I said I was gonna adjust uh, Fox Code spell, and I, I made my own variation of it. Always might actually look ugly for the German player, and it kind of is. But <laughs> uh, if he keeps rallying units like this and force a ton of larva and units, that's that's good. The Marines are getting killed off. And follow it back. Yeah, I think uh, Arnest is quite in a pickle if you don't start to ramp up his production by a lot. Yeah. He's not in a pickle, he's in a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> You could say that as well. It seems like he's actually spending a lot of money on missile turrets. Yeah, so he's kind of afraid of like a, fr a flank of one of his bases or something. Especially his main base. Well, he can actually afford it with having three bases. A Terran player against a Zerg can stay on three bases for ages. So he can actually yeah. make that investment. It's much safer to do that than... I would have preferred doing uh, doing barracks with... Uh, f uh, with um, Rathers instead and actually uh, try and kind of punish the Zerg player. Yeah. Because 2 2 Marines are pretty powerful. Oh, yeah. and he's gonna lose the Overseer actually. And that's not what he wanted. Nope. 2 Widow Mine is going to be uh, blown off there now. Oh, very nice micro here by Arnis. He moves his marines in the back, making sure the marauders absorbed. Yeah, hits. 
Yeah, and there's nice. a widow mine that actually take off uh, one of the mutilist. That was like straying around trying to attack. Three for the Terran. And this is gonna wreck the banelings before they can actually connect. It's oh, could, it could. But it, wow, very nice oh. engagement here by the Liams actually. Got a yeah. complete wrap, wrap around and around this, so. Arnish didn't uh, burrow his uh, Widow Mines. Oh, yeah, that's. That's really bad. And now he's gonna lose all the medevacs. It's a huge investment actually. Entire yeah. game he's been making those, so he has to remake them. He has oh. a lot of resources. But now he's gonna fly into the missile turrets if he's not careful. Well, he's losing two mutalisk, I believe. Um, but it. Yeah, now he's backing off. Oh, yeah. nice cancel. No, the Lyrms is actually getting back from um, uh, taking that really bad engagement earlier. He's yeah, taking he is. his fourth, and he's preventing Arnis from taking his, and he's pushing on. Okay, Arnis yeah. has to fight by his door, and I don't think he can uh, hold for too long. No, he can't. And he has actually uh, four Marines inside of one of the medevacs. Now he's uh, loading it out. But uh, it's not gonna be enough, I think. He's camping the production of Arn uh, the little camp the production of Arnas. So he picked up a few Marines as he came out. But actually, it's still three bases against four bases. Uh, it seems so, although Delirium's fourth base hasn't actually got any workers on it. And Good Arnish is soon 3-3. Three, three. Um, that's gonna make a big difference. Oh, yes. That's gonna make a huge difference, actually. That's gonna make me... Well, actually, the Mutalists are 2-1, so they're not completely useless, but... Yeah, but I'm still gonna suffer a lot. Yes. The Marine is one of the units that are one of the best fully upgraded. Yeah, and it's gonna run back into the Widow Mines, and... Uh, Whoa! It's not gonna be enough. I'm not quite sure about this game, uh, to no, be honest. No, it's very hard to tell. Like... Arnish should be... Ha uh, yeah, he, sh he should be on a deposit right now. He's not it's making a fourth base, but this is going to be sniped. Actually, the Deliriums is the one who's lost the more in terms of resources, that is. But, um... And now we've got uh, Corruptors and Broodbots on the way, and gonna follow up with... Um, don't want to lose those Medivacs, I mean... Brutalisks. Don't want to lose Medivacs either. And this is something Arnest is very bold about. He's just walking straight onto creep without trying to clear it, and that's yeah, very but he's dangerous to do. Yeah, but he sniped a few Banelings uh, morphing in. Uh, that's kinda good, but he... Oh, he's losing all the marines. He is, oh. but he's actually flanking with the other marines here, and the mutalisks trade very yeah, badly against marines, especially 3-3 three, three marines. Yeah, especially 3-3 three, three marines. Wow. And he's uh, attacking the fourth base. Artists are just churning out the units here and trying to press on. Yeah, and has some widow mines to actually uh, support this. So. Oh, that would have my hit killed. I think it killed equal amount of uh, marines that killed links. But uh, there's still oh, we them. have brood lords. Yeah, but they're kind of in the open, so we have to be careful now to so not lose the brood lords. Oh, now they're morphed. Oh, he, he wants to snipe off the brood lords, and he's yeah. getting one. Get, yeah, it's only getting one so far. So this is a 
incredibly even game. I'd yeah, say. I would say the same. Just going Both back and forth all the time. Dropping really bad.